In this lesson, you'll be looking at the FAC system, which is a subsystem of the AFS. As you already know, the FAC system provides a yaw damper system, a pitch trim system, and flight envelope protection. You are already familiar with some aspects of the yaw damper and pitch trim systems from the Flight Controls chapter, ATA 27. However, there are some aspects that are specific to the AFS. It's these specific aspects that we will look at in this lesson, as well as flight envelope protection. There are two yaw damper systems, yaw damper 1 and yaw damper 2. Yaw damper 1 has mechanical priority over yaw damper 2. Each yaw damper system has two computing channels, a command channel and a monitoring channel. If the command channel fails, the monitoring channel automatically takes over. The yaw damper systems have three main functions. These are Dutch roll damping, turn coordination and autopilot assistance. There is no rudder pedal feedback for any of the yaw damper functions. Select each of the yaw damper functions in turn for an explanation. Select the forward arrow when you've seen all the functions. Dutch roll damping is effective over the whole flight envelope and is provided whenever the inertial reference system detects lateral acceleration. Turn coordination is provided in manual flight. It's activated whenever the electronic flight control units, EFCUs, detect a roll deflection on either control wheel. However, it is not activated if the flaps are fully extended or there is a stall warning. If one of the EFCUs fails when the turn coordination function is active, the corresponding yaw damper disengages. A warning message is displayed on the ECAM and the corresponding yaw damper lever trips off. The affected yaw damper system can be re-engaged as soon as turn coordination is deactivated. Turn coordination is inhibited if both EFCUs fail and is not available when the slat flap control computers are no longer providing feedback. However, you should remember that the loss of a yaw damper reduces the landing capability, for example, from category 3 to category 2. Autopilot assistance is provided in case of engine failure. It is activated if the inertial reference system detects lateral acceleration when the autopilot is engaged in command and with the APFD system engaged in the speed reference system mode or go around mode. If both yaw dampers are lost, a single chime sounds. The master caution illuminates an ECAM warning is displayed and both levers trip off. The AP is now inoperative. As with the yaw damper function, there are two pitch trim systems, pitch trim 1 and pitch trim 2. Normally, pitch trim 1 has priority over pitch trim 2. Each pitch trim system has two computing channels, a command channel and a monitoring channel. If the command channel fails, the monitoring channel automatically takes over. Each pitch trim system provides an electric trim function, an auto trim function, a MAC or CAS trim function, and an angle of attack or alpha trim function. Select each of the pitch trim functions in turn for an explanation. Select the forward arrow when you've seen all the functions. Electric trim is available in manual flight or when an AP is engaged in control wheel steering, CWS. Auto trim is active if an autopilot is engaged in either CWS or command, CMD. With the autopilot engaged in command, the operation of the pitch trim levers on the control yokes is inhibited. Auto trim is active with an AP in control wheel steering 
provided the aircraft is in flight and you do not use the rocking levers. Auto trim works in the same way as electric trim, but it also stops the aircraft bumping when the AP is disengaged. Both MAC and CAS trim improve the aircraft's static longitudinal stability by moving the horizontal stabilizer as a function of the MAC number or CAS. MAC trim is active above 0.7 MAC and with the aircraft in a clean configuration. CAS trim is active above 200 knots in all configurations. Alpha trim counters the pitch-up which occurs at high Mach and excessive angles of attack at low speed. An excessive angle of attack is anything greater than 21 degrees. Alpha trim is active with the aircraft in a clean configuration, no AP engaged and no speed brakes extended. The flight envelope protection provided by the fax includes the following functions limit speeds, flaps or slats, minimum retraction speed, engine out operating speed, VC trend and alpha floor and wind shear protection. There are three limit speeds. VLS, VMAX and VSS limit speed symbols are only displayed if they are within the limits of the speed scale. Select each limit speed in turn for an explanation. When you've seen all the limit speeds, select the forward arrow to move on. VLS, the lowest selectable speed, is the lower limit of the flight envelope. It is defined as a margin in relation to the stall speed. It depends on the aircraft's configuration and flight phase, but is not G-load dependent. VLS changes from takeoff to landing and is triggered by the position of the slats flaps handle. The symbol appears five seconds after liftoff and disappears at touchdown. As long as the ATS is on, with auto thrust engaged, it is not possible to fly at a speed below VLS. VMAX the maximum selectable speed is the upper limit of the flight envelope. It depends on aircraft configuration and is not G-load dependent. VMAX equals VMO if the slats and landing gear are retracted. VMAX equals VLE if the slats are retracted but the gear is extended. VMAX equals VFE if the slats are extended or the slats flap selector is out of the zero zero position. The VMAX symbol is displayed five seconds after liftoff. As with VLS, if a speed above VMAX is selected in the thrust control computer or the flight control computer, then the indicated airspeed will never increase above VMAX. VSS is the speed at which the stick shaker warning is activated. It depends on aircraft configuration and G-load. The VSS symbol is displayed five seconds after liftoff. The F speed depends on aircraft configuration and weight. It is not G-load dependent. The symbol is displayed five seconds after liftoff, depending on the flap slats configuration. The S speed depends on aircraft configuration and weight. It is not G-load dependent. 
The symbol is displayed five seconds after liftoff with a 15-0 configuration. The engine out or green dot speed is the best lift to drag ratio speed or engine out operating speed in a clean configuration and is not G-load dependent. The green dot symbol is only displayed in flight. Finally, a word on flap slats jamming. If the flap slats jam, VLS, VSS, F and S speeds are calculated on the flap slats position prior to the jamming. VMAX takes the flaps lever position into account for computation. Next we're going to look at the VC trend. The VC trend arrow indicates if the aircraft is accelerating or decelerating. The arrow head indicates the speed the aircraft will reach in 10 seconds if acceleration or deceleration remain constant. The arrow only appears if the selected speed is exceeded by two knots and disappears when the acceleration or deceleration is lower than one knot. As with VMAX, the VC trend is not affected by flap slats jamming. Alpha floor protection is available above 100 feet, provided the autothrottle system is armed. When the fax detect an angle of attack that is too high, the ATS thrust latch mode is automatically engaged. Thrust latch mode corresponds to the thrust mode that is selected on the thrust rating panel, TRP. The engines will deliver the maximum thrust for the mode selected on the TRP. We'll be looking at the ATS and the various modes in a later lesson. The minimum angle of attack threshold value that causes thrust latch engagement depends on aircraft configuration and wind shear detection. Wind shear protection is provided by means of a guidance principle. Note, wind shear protection is a company option. You can skip this topic if it's not fitted to your aircraft. If wind shear is detected, the facts compute the best angle of attack and speed to enable the aircraft to be flown safely through the wind shear. An obvious indication of wind shear is the sharp rise and fall of the VC trend arrow. Under the guidance principle, if the wind shear intensity is sufficient to bring the aircraft close to its limits, the speed reference system, SRS, progressively adjusts its control of the aircraft and adopts a survival strategy. This SRS survival strategy is the control of airspeed as the selected speed plus 10 knots, as long as a positive vertical speed is maintained, altitude, as long as the speed exceeds VSS, and speed, above stick shaker speed as long as needed. The SRS survival strategy is available whether the aircraft is being flown manually with the flight directors or automatically with the autopilot. It is maintained whatever the longitudinal or vertical wind shear is during takeoff or go around conditions. Finally, the survival strategy allows for a maximum pitch attitude of 21.5 degrees instead of the usual 17.5 degrees. However, in all cases, the pitch attitude is limited by a stall protection. That completes this lesson on the facts. In the next lesson, we'll be looking at the autopilot flight director system.